Hello, I'm James Lincoln, Safety and Environmental Director. Here at Kirby Smith Machinery, the safety of our employees, our customers, and anybody else who enters our facility as Paramount will always be a main focus. Today I'd like to talk to you about two key components of organizational safety, hazard identification and risk management. Simply put, what can go wrong or cause an accident within a work task, and what steps can you take to mitigate or eliminate the likelihood of occurrence. The first thing we have to do is understand that we cannot remove all the hazards from your workplace, but what we can do is manage the risks of the work task within. So we have to be able to identify, properly manage, and properly work through the risks to make your work task safer. So today let's watch a series of videos to determine what's safe versus unsafe and what we can do to make those work tasks safer. 360 degree walk around safety procedure. The employee did not complete the 360 degree walk around the vehicle looking for loose items, tools, parts, obstructions, etc. The employee did not have his safety cone out behind the vehicle. Multiple items were left on the back bumper. Wheel chocks were not picked up or removed. The employee did not fasten his seat belt. The employee did not honk the horn prior to reversing the vehicle. Now let's review how to correctly perform the 360 degree walk around procedure. Notice the employee circles the vehicle looking for obstructions and removes obstructions. The employee retrieves his safety cone and places it in the back of the truck. The employee removes his wheel chocks. And lastly, the employee puts on his seat belt and honks the horn prior to reversing the vehicle. Filling batteries. Trip hazards on the floor, incorrect PPE, cluttered work area, spill kit was missing from the area. Let's take a second to look at the battery filling process when done safely. Notice all trip hazards and clutter were removed from the work area. The employee wore the proper PPE, including gloves, face shield, and apron. The spill kit is available and in place. Shipping and receiving. Ladder in the doorway blocking the exit. Limited access or blocked fire extinguisher. Trip hazards in the workplace. Not wearing gloves. The employee appears to be opening the box with an antique sword. Now let's take a second to watch the shipping and receiving work when done properly and safe. The area is clean and free of trip hazards. The employee uses the correct box knife to open the box. The emergency exit is free and clear. The fire extinguisher is unobstructed and has easy access. The employee is wearing the proper gloves for the job. Using jacks, jack stands, and cribbing. The machine was lifted and left on a jack and the employee attempted to crawl under the machine while on a jack. Lug nuts on the floor create a trip hazard. Cord not covered causes a trip hazard. No safety glasses being worn. Now let's take a second to watch jacks, jack stands, and cribbing being used properly and safely. Notice all trip hazards were removed from the area. Safety glasses are being worn. Once the machine was lifted to the proper working height, a jack stand replaces the jack so that it is safe to be under the machine. Please remember that cribbing is an acceptable alternative to using jack stands. Also keep in mind that jacks are for lifting, jack stands and cribbing are for holding. Loading equipment. Wheels are not chopped. The truck driver did not turn off the truck engine and set the parking brake. Let's take a second to watch a piece of equipment being loaded safely and properly. Notice wheel chocks are in place and the driver has turned off the engine and set the parking brake. Driving pins. Gloves not being worn by either person. Safety glasses not being worn by either person. 
multiple trip hazards on the ground in the work area, the employees using a hardened steel hammer while striking a hardened steel pin driver, which causes fragmentation. If using a hammer in lieu of the slide sledge, a brass hammer is required. Now let's review how to properly and safely remove or drive a pen. Notice all trip hazards have been removed from the area. Safety glasses are being worn, the proper gloves are being worn, and the employee is properly using the slide sledge tool to remove the pen. An acceptable alternative is brass hammer and a pen driver if the slide sledge tool is not available. Keep in mind that fragmentation can occur when using a hardened steel hammer on a hardened steel pen driver. Lower roller installation. Wrong tool used for the job. The jack does not have the roller cradle adapter that holds the roller in place to keep it from slipping off the jack when moved. Okay, let's watch a video of the lower roller being installed properly and safely. Notice that the jack has the proper adapter that keeps the roller from moving or slipping when being moved or positioned into place. If a jack cannot be used, the roller installation tool is a safe alternative. Track removal. Trip hazards in the workspace. Gloves not being worn. Forklift driver in the background has on the wrong safety glasses. The technician was about to pull both lineup bars from the track and allow the track to fall. Let's take a second to watch the track removal process done safely. All trip hazards were removed from the area. The proper gloves are being worn by both employees. Forklift driver in the background has on the proper safety glasses. Proper rigging and a forklift was used to safely control the load and allow the tracks to come to the ground without falling in an uncontrolled manner. Track press work. The employee is not wearing the proper gloves for the work task. Fire extinguisher is on the floor and is covered with a face shield. Cutting torch hoses are laying across the tracks and the tracks can have sharp edges. Aerosol can next to the cutting torch tip. Trip hazards on the floor. And lastly, the emergency exit door is blocked by a pallet. Let's take a second to watch some track press work done safely. Notice the employee is wearing the proper gloves for the job. The fire extinguisher has been removed from the floor along with other trip hazards. The cutting torch hoses have been moved and the emergency exit door is no longer blocked. Screen installation. Employee using his cell phone, technician not wearing gloves, seat belt not being worn by technician on SkyTrack, hard hat not being worn, no hand signals or limited hand signals given, an employee operating the SkyTrack had his foot hanging off of the machine while driving. Okay, let's take a second to watch a video of screens being installed properly and safely. Employees are not using their cell phones, both technicians are wearing gloves, the seat belt is being worn by the SkyTrack operator, and proper hand signals are being given. Spotting and land guides. Notice the spotter playing on his phone instead of watching for obstructions or hazards. The spotter is not walking with the equipment. The spotter did not recognize that the overhead shop door was not opened all the way. And lastly, the operator was not wearing a seat belt on the SkyTrack. Let's take a second to watch spotting and land guide done safely. Notice that the spotter is not distracted and has his full attention and focus on the operator and the equipment. He's walking with the equipment verifying there are no obstructions or obstacles along the way. The SkyTrack operator does have on his seatbelt. Prior to entering the building, the spotter stops the driver to raise the overhead door and then guides him in safely. Washing equipment. Notice the employee is not wearing the face shield properly and not protecting his eyes or face. Multiple trip hazards on the stairs and in the workspace. The employee also is consuming a ham sandwich while working with chemicals. Let's take a second to watch a clip of someone washing equipment safely. 
The employees wearing the face shield properly. All trip hazards on the stairs and workspace have been removed. The employee is not eating his ham sandwich while working with chemicals. Hopefully this video has been helpful to you in learning how to better identify hazards in your work task, assess the risks, and take all necessary steps toward a safe working environment. We've tried to have fun with this video, but I hope you remember that safety is serious business. For the well-being of your family at home and the 1KS family throughout all of our locations, keep your eyes open out there and work safe.